I started getting involved in music in 63. Everyone was in a band or they played football. It was one or the other. And I went down the band route because I just loved it. I started my own little band called the Mini Beats. We just played village halls and things like that. And we were no good, but it was just great fun. I used to really enjoy doing it. I left Liverpool in 1969 and moved to London where I met my wife. She was working for Apple, Apple Records, uh, and she was working for all four Beatles. She ended up just working for Ringo when it all split up. I learned he was doing the narration for Thomas. I phoned up Clearwater, which was Dave Mitten's company, and she gave me Britt Allcroft's number. It's amazing, you wouldn't get this nowadays, would you? I met a guy called Junior Campbell who lived down the same street as me. When this idea of doing the music for Thomas came about, I said to Junior, do you fancy getting involved in this? And he said, absolutely. I hate to admit it, but I'd never even heard of the Railway series when I was growing up. It was more the Beatles inspired the music. Sorry, Reverend. <laughs> By the time series two came along, it was decided they needed a bigger set and um, more room to spread out. So they decided to decamp to Shepperton Film Studios. I think that one probably shows the station. David was a larger than life character and he wore some bizarre clothes, but he, he looked great. You know, there was something about him. He, he was a real director. The story is clear. I knew it was going to be a hit because when we went to see the first one at Clearwater, I thought, this has got legs, this one has. The Thomas theme is renowned worldwide and it's been covered by so many people. I heard one of the BBC orchestra, Symphonic Orchestra, is that what it was? And they did the Thomas theme and it was just fantastic to hear it, you know. Uh, there was a couple of bomb notes in it, but I'll let them off with that. <laughs> 